Okay, so BEA What's in the Box Part 2. Um, so yeah, got a lot of books. Um, at one point I did have them separated out between what was signed, what wasn't, but since I did that they've gotten all mixed up. So I am just going to say what I got and if I remember if it's signed or not, I will let you know or not, depending on my mood. So, books I got. Picked up Revelation by Jennifer Donnelly. Um, I mainly picked this one up for the cover because the way it looked said that it was a dual time period and I love dual time period books. I'm not sure if it actually is or not. It's not really clear by looking at the back of the book, but I am hopeful that it's going to be a dual time period book and so that's why I got that one. Um, also picked up Dust by Joan Frances Turner. Um, this one sadly does not have a cover to it, but according to the front, it is a book about zombies. Um, BEA 2010 was the year of the zombie. Lots of zombie type books on there, but this one says, It's not a piece of gruesome cleverness to ward off death, or a simple story about monsters and things that go bump in the night. It's something altogether new. A story told from the point of view of the zombie, because really, the undead are nothing but people who died. So different kind of zombie book and I'm um, looking forward to reading it. Um, I also picked up Invisible Things by Jenny Davidson. This is a book that I have been waiting for for years. Um, Jenny Davidson is also the author of a book called The Explosionist. Um, it takes place in Scotland 1939 in an alternate universe where Napoleon won the Battle of Waterloo and what effects that might have had on the world. And it was one of my very first ARCs. And I read it, I loved it, I reviewed it, and after I read it, I realized, well, during reading it, realized that while the main mystery in The Explosionist was solved, there were still a lot of questions that weren't answered, and that story, Sophie's story, just wasn't told. And so I've been eagerly awaiting for the sequel for a long, long time, and now, here it is! Invisible Things by Jenny Davidson. Um, I strongly recommend that you go out, try and find The Explosionist, and then go out and find this book when it comes out in December, because I am sure it is going to be just as fabulous as the first one. Picked up Another Pen by Daniel and Dinah Nayeri. Um, this cover is not the final cover, and for that I am quite thankful because this guy here, coming in creepily from the window, he just reminds me of a creepy, sparkly, vampire type person, and it's kind of off-putting when you look at it. Um, but yeah, they've changed the cover, Candlewick had it in their booth, and the new one looks so much better. Uh, this one takes place in the same world as another Faust did, and that's a book that I read and really enjoyed. So, I'm looking forward to this one as well, to see what they do with the Peter Pan story. Picked up Delacroix Academy, The Candidates, by Anara Scott. Um, not too sure, really, what this one is about, other than it's YA, and it's probably the start of the series, but the line didn't look too long when I was there, and so I went, grabbed it, just to kind of see what it was. And so, yeah, hoping it's going to be interesting. I haven't been very disappointed with Disney books, so looking forward to that one. Picked up In Scandal They Wed by Sophie Jordan. Um, this is an adult romance book. Uh, Sophie Jordan is also coming out with a young adult book called Firelight. And I got that when I went on a HarperCollins tour earlier in the week and was very, very excited to get that. And then when I heard she had some adult books, I was excited to go meet her, tell her how excited I was for Firelight, and then pick up this one because I like adult romance books. And so interested to see how this story is and probably won't draw too many comparisons between this and Firelight because one's young adult fantasy and one's an adult naughty book. So they'll probably be as different as night and day. Or at least I hope so. It'll be really strange if, you know, you have, like, dragons that appear in this book. That's just what I'm saying. Um, also picked up Liz Carlyle's One Touch of Scandal. Um, I haven't read any Liz Carlyle before, and I was kind of, you know, looking at this in one of the booths, and the publicist said I could take it, so I took it. Um, hopefully it is not part of a series, because I seem to always get books that are parts of series. But 
With luck, this will be the start of one, or a, you don't have to read them independently. But if you know if this is part of a series or not, please, please let me know. And yeah, I'll have to go look for the other ones. One of the books I was very excited to get is Grace by Elizabeth Scott. I love Elizabeth Scott so much. Her writing is just phenomenal and every book that I've read of hers I have a tendency to read in one sitting because once I start I can't stop. Um, and this is her foray into like more of a dystopian type book and very excited to read this one. This one wasn't really out out at BEA. You actually had to go to the BEA. Um, Penguin Boo, say a secret password, do a little dance, and then they'd sneak into the back and get it with you. And I'm totally kidding about the password and the dance, but you did have to ask for it. Picked up Halo by Alexandra Adonardo. This book was getting a lot of BEA buzz about it beforehand, and it just sounds really good and interesting. It's about angels and things like that, and it just has a really pretty cover, and so excited to pick that one up was very, very, very excited to get this book, Delirium by Lauren Oliver. Um, read her book, Before I Fall, and while I may not always agree with how it ended, Lauren and I have come to terms with that. She's the author. She's right. Um, not so right, but I have my own opinions, so I'm kind of right in that way. But love Lauren. Been really looking forward to this book ever since I first heard about it. Love as a disease and it just sounds really cool and awesome, and I can't wait to read it. Picked up Red Moon Rising by Peter Moore. This is a book, uh, again, the line wasn't too long, and I was walking by to someplace else, so I hopped down it. Um, I have discovered some really great books last year at BEA by doing that, so this one I think will be the same, um, especially since on the back it says, if your mom is a vamp and your dad is a wolf, that makes you a very confused kid. And I actually don't think that there are many, you know, have vampire, half werewolf werewolves books out there. So this should be really interesting because it's a combination of the two. So it's taking two very popular phenomenons right now, combining them into one kid, one book. So hilarity should ensue. Uh, let's see. Picked up The Absolute Value of Negative One by Steve Brezinoff. This is a book that I've wanted ever since I first heard about it. It deals with math and fun things like that, and I'm just an uber geek, so that made me excited. Um, I saw the trailer, and if you look at my blog and follow Book Trail Monday, you know that I was gushing over the trailer not too long ago. It's fabulous. If you haven't, kind of go search through my blog, find the link, it's there somewhere and watch the trailer because it's really, really cool and very excited for this book. And yeah, I'm at about eight minutes right now. Still have things to do, so I am going to stop again and then move on and take over in part three.